this time of the season, when you get positioning, some people are just trying to get into it, uh, and it makes every game, uh, everybody's uh, motivated differently than they are maybe earlier in the year. Pacers were able to play at a faster pace, and they're going to have to show some signs of that against this Philadelphia team, because Philadelphia's a team, if you let them, that's to get him some confidence early, because he's had a hard time with them being. And that ties the score. This is the second out of a back-to-back -back win for Philadelphia. Run them. They played last night. Run them. Wara for three. But how about the pass that was made from Nice? Maxi steps oh. through. Basket and a foul. Uh, a time that he's got. He may have another three or four games, and he'll, he'll be back to normal. But missing games makes a big difference. Yeah, he missed the two games in Detroit as Maxi hits and they've scored. And they're looking to make jump shots. And then what they'll do is, and you got to be prepared for it, then they'll look to start trying to drive it. And he's become a reliable thing. Shake Milton is on the floor now. So it's Milton and Melton. And that's NB. Three-point line. All of a sudden, it's a 10-point Philadelphia lead. As Neesmith goes inside. Right in front of us. Neesmith has eight of Indiana's 17 as MB splashes a three. Neesmith fights again. He had it blocked by MB. He's in there by himself. Out to Nimhart for three. Turner drives on MB. Turns, scores. Oh, he got it. That's a pretty good move, and he's fourth. Doc Rivers said he's the only true point guard on their roster. McDaniels. And got it, and a foul. He was on the back side in the first quarter. McConnell had it picked it again. again. And Shake Milton dunks it at the buzzer. He timed that one. And he got, got McConnell. Second quarter. McConnell gets inside, hops to Smith, who lays it in, and a foul. Does a really good job pushing up with the five on the floor now for Philadelphia. And they'll be searching for offense. And then Shake Milton. Five on four. And McConnell knows it. Here's Brissett, who checked in at the corner. Because of the running of Buddy Hill on the side, he had the two. But the pace you gotta pick. You gotta play fast. If you don't have the shot within a second, second and a half, you gotta pass it. And Jalen Smith got the nice touch. Shot clock down to four. Maxi. High up off the glass, and it's been a big time game. Now Brissett to the basket, got it, and a foul. O'Shea Brissett giving the Pacers some solid college teams. The alumni are close. Oh, yeah. Here's Niang. Leaves it off for Deadman. Well, he wanted to come and get it. Watch. I mean, you don't, you don't ever like losing, but it's just so much more enjoyable to watch. And, and you watch him push it up, make good decisions, share it. Just like that. I mean, that. That's for Philadelphia. Free throw line, Maxi. He's got 15. With a basket, actually causes Sixers to call timeout. And that's another basket by Tobias Harris. Well, they're, they're going to test Warren. B. Brissett drives baseline. Good job by Warren. When I say good job. When the guy drives baseline. Well, tonight, 76ers 59% from the field. The Pacers 51% as him beat again. He's got a 14 nothing run. Changed this game as Maxi has a 20 point first half. He just made up one of the most difficult shots. Oh, that's Buddy Heal. Buddy Heal brings down the house. His teammates are up. Because all of a sudden, shot clock down to four, down to three. And he beats the shot clock, and DeAnthony Milton hits the three. 19 from the field in the second quarter, 79%. Because they were able to get really good shots out of penetration. That's what Lloyd Pierce was. Maxi had a 22 point first half. Wow. And adds to it. Uh, you could see when he let it go, it was going to be soft enough to hit the rim. They had a pretty good second quarter tonight. They scored 37, but the 76ers had 38, and Embiid has his first two of the second half. That's a... Cross-court pass, heel, flying by. I like it. One more pass. 
Yeah, that's that's how you tire the defense out, but just moving the ball. Games this year with that injury. MB. Basket and a foul. War got it. They did exactly what the Pacers have done. You to come after him. And I mean, Harris has 12 points, but he's able to get an easy, ooh, tough shot there by Emhart. But he gets an easy shot because Embiid is. He won. Embiid against Turner. Joel Embiid with Harden that are at the top of the le uh, list individually. Here's a three by Buddy Heald who hits. That gives you a little momentum because it was, it was a little tough. Now it's Heald on Embiid. Spins to the basket. So what you might have to do is do that. Yeah, I gave you some numbers about that's a bad pass by Neesmith taken by Philadelphia. How many days we've been on the road here in the last 30 days. And Tobias Harris hits the three. Yeah, you, you what's the second one? I'm like, what? Pacers down 17. Turner goes inside and scores. I mean, because you get so concerned, particularly when you're playing against Embiid. <laughs> I mean, just... He's got 30, but Maxi has 27, and Turner has it. Slightly blocked there by George Hill, believe it or not. And nice here's Neesmith. Yeah, he did a nice job. He was guarding uh, Embiid. Turner, the offensive rebound. And Turner over Embiid. McConnell had it poked away again. That's the third time that Melton has gotten him. Yeah, the pinch was on the other end. But the switching man on almost his own. And Neesmith, the basket and a foul. He's got a chance for a three-point play. Oh, he's, I mean, the last week. Alongside Quinn Buckner, I'm Chris Denary. Here's a three by Nian. I mean, they get a timeout coming, coming right out of the, the... 13 turnovers leading to 18 points. There's another one. Ahead to McDaniels, and the basket and a foul on George. Time, fourth quarter. He's in double figures with 11. He drives inside off the glass and got it. Maxi, that's blocked by Brissett. Wara goes right down the lane and got two more. Really good job. They're shooting 55%, but Philadelphia at 60. Maxi in the corner, Harris back in, and splashes another three. But I think the Pacers had that in this last draft, and in both, both of their picks. Neesmith, back to back. He had 22 last night, 25 tonight, Harris inside. I, I hate to count the number. It's to play. Uh, Philadelphia trying to sweep the season series as Nemhart goes in. He has 18. Been really sharp final and then the final. That, that always makes a difference. But I'd say those teams you name, those are the, the right teams. I think where Phoenix is going to struggle is the same way. Kevin Durant comes back. Healthy. Okay, you know you're going to get scored, but the rest of the, those guys haven't really been in this kind of situation before. And Paul Reed throws it down on the alley-oop and another... You get Duarte out, and so you lose a lot of that. I mean, this is a guy in Paul Reed who they can throw out there, Quinn. Watching Philadelphia and the Pacers. Hill throws it, linked to the floor. Brissett gets two more. And we 36 and 10 since December the 5th. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, is a physical score. And they beat the Pacers tonight, 141-121. Indiana still has won seven of its last 12, and they'll head out of the 